the long hot summer of 1976 in the UK. 47 years Seven ago. Seven years ago. And a guy called Dave bought a boat. And his intention was to restore the boat and he was going to take it up to Scotland. But it didn't get that far. It got blown towards the Dudden Estuary. The engine wasn't powerful enough and the sails weren't strong enough, were they, to no. sail it all the way to Scotland in the high winds. So it got blown into the estuary towards Millham and then again over to this side of Ascombe. And he lived on the boat and he lived on the boat until about three years ago. He converted it into a houseboat, basically. But then storm force winds, high seas, and the boats started taking on water and Dave and his dog had to be rescued by the inshore lifeboats. But that's not the end of the story. And this isn't the beginning of the story. There's some history to this boat. We've got the past, we've got the present, and we've got hopefully what's gonna be the future of it. And we've been lucky enough to go and have a look at it and go aboard and talk to the people who are going to try and keep this boat going. So come with us and we'll go and have a look at it and we'll talk to them and we'll tell you some more about it and we'll have a look around it. We'll have a look around it and it is rare. So yes. it's a story worth telling. So here we are at Oakdale. As you can see, it needs some work. But as we said in the intro before, we're gonna tell you about the past, the present and the future. And she's got quite a bit of history to her and we'll uh, try and tell you all about that as well. Notice the size of the tough white. It is. Where some of the bow well. No, I can't. As you can yeah. see. Yeah. I'll try and get one. Well, it's lost. It's lost. Yeah, and some big holes. But we're just talking to Dave, who's yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> there was, who had to be rescued, and he was saying this is actually the only Mersey flat in existence. We thought there was one at Ellesmere Port, but that's not actually a Mersey flat. Mm. These two guys who don't want to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> And the ones who are going to be in charge of her future. And she's she's a metal frame with timber composite, yes, yeah, so composite metal frame. So you'll see it's iron iron ribs, the full yeah. length, with yeah. a timber hull. And it's one of five. I think, I think there's there's I think there's five six composite five in composite ships yeah. Yeah. in the world. Yeah, one of them's Cutty Sark. Cutty Sark is one of them. Hmm. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think there's one in Australia as well. It's a bit of a wreck. Um, from the own yeah. Google research. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see around here. The metal framework that is the part of the composite construction, and then the me the wooden beams. Bolted to it. Riveted, riveted, riveted to it. Riveted initially, but yeah. the obviously the, uh, uh, the protection that we were put on has been bolted in place. Yeah. But, uh, so when she was uh, stranded or flooded, she filled with water, and they had we had to, oh, they had to break the the beams out to allow the water well, out. But the force of the water in the hull. Broke. Just, just broke her. Yeah. The hole in effect, wow. Tom, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It, was a, it was a floating vessel. For, yeah. 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 Well, we we try to keep it floating. So. Yeah. yeah. 
I think the yeah. original plan was to maybe float it off from here on a on a barge or something. Yes, so yeah. that's but yeah. storms this winter have sort of yeah. taken the toll again. So, so, so how long's the long term goal to get to restored? It's fundraising restored. first. Yeah. So yeah. The, the guys back at the CSC are, are dri driving fundraising efforts. Yeah. They've just taken ownership of it. Day, which starts to open the doors, open the yeah. gates for we need, we raising need to money. Exchange a pound <laughs> yeah. for, for sale. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, and there's, we believe there's a surveyor coming down on Thursday right. to look at, which yeah. is the first stage of yeah. deciding yeah. what to do, to how to go about yeah, things. Exactly. Yeah. Whether, yeah. I think there's a few options, isn't there? So yeah. there's yeah. we've had, we had a sort of 3D survey done, didn't we, yeah. with the uh, old high tech scanning equipment. So that's yeah. all been done. You'll notice that the forward end is in, relatively speaking, pretty good condition. Yes. And some of the juts, actually some of the, juts, some of the carpentry inside is remarkable at the front end. We're going to have a look later on. Yeah. It's a, it's a sight to behold inside at the front. The forward end. Oh. So she's what 70, 76 feet, is it? Something like that, 70 odd feet Something long. Like yeah, yeah, Dave will know exactly. Yeah. Um, and I think I read they were originally built to last for about 40 years. Something, something like, like that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're moving, um, is it bunkering, I think they call it? Yeah. Off the ships in the Mersey and taking supplies up, up the canals. And originally there wasn't a mast, was there? No, nope, no, it was a, a dumb barge originally. The mass is something Dave added as part of his conversion into a, a somewhere to live and yeah yeah. And they were towed behind barges. Yes, strung together and towed behind barges. Wow, unpowered. So Dave spoke of the uh, the skill <laughs> <laughs> and the adventure involved in, yes. in in using the currents and, and the movement to actually yeah. get them into the mount, into the canals and. Mm. Out of the Mersey. Certainly a character. <laughs> <laughs> when did the inboard go in then? Was Dave put that in? I think that was as part of Dave's efforts, yeah. 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 So he did, he did sail it round here from Merseyside in the first place? Yes, yeah. yeah. And locations. it was the, the winds that brought him into the. Uh, probably more than Storm. his navigation skills. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, th we'll put it down to the, <laughs> to the weather. <laughs> but you've done well to keep it in this condition with it getting battered so much. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it declines rapidly. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> it, it takes a lot, a lot of, um, even in the, I mean, this year hasn't, this winter hasn't been so bad in no. terms of storms. It's been relative, relatively low tides. And, uh, but, um, obviously, the year that it went, it went down it was really bad. You see, here, this is the, this is the cabin at the back. Yes, then. So I think we were. Was it a captain? Was it, was it two, or, two or three? three they were licensed for two crew. or three people. Yeah. 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 We were just saying today we were going to go to Ellesmere Port after he said that's that, that's not on it. That's not a Mersey flat. It's a weave, I think it's, is it a weave yeah. flat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's been much debate, I think, historically about um, about the uh, who owns the bragging rights for, <laughs> for the last one. <laughs> Tiller. It's the height effect of it, effectively for getting under the, yeah. the bridges, You're, yeah, canals. Obviously, minus the mast. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't drop down. <laughs> it's fascinating. Cheers. Yeah. 
Yeah. And now we're on board. Everything, I assume, was moved out of the underneath and it's stored on top. rescued any sort of artifacts that were part of the original thing yeah. so hopefully a lot of them have been stored yes in places so it'd be nice to get a lot of this is junk and just be cleared when we yeah. get a, a yeah. volunteer group together you would have noticed i did a couple of hours on here so. i just i was just saying it down it's a bit diving off so I say just watch it. Yeah, watch yeah. a few bits of soft deck. It's all right, we're only short. <laughs> yeah, I was on the bottom collapsing. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Prior to COVID, I think it was. Yeah. We um, went wrong. We saw the video where he was rescued. Mm. Yeah. Right. So you'll have an exact date. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I just find it fascinating that it's you know, all these bits and pieces. Yes. Yeah. yeah. This is where we looked in earlier in the cabin. So all the different rooms are... Yeah, yeah he, he built himself a bathroom there. <laughs> yeah. Toilet in the corner, this was his workshop. It was converted into a yeah. bar restaurant at one point, as you'll <laughs> see in the next, <laughs> next part. So we've got an bar in there. Oh, that's slippy. Yeah, yeah, just <laughs> a few holes in there. So, so at some point in, 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 all, in its life, it was a... Uh, it was a youth club, which will, that's definitely there on, you can find that on, the, on pictures of that. And it, they'd, they'd convert it into a, it was, going to be, was it going to be a restaurant, I think, at one point? I think it was a restaurant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the bar. <laughs> and I have just seen a very apt book. Hmm? I've just seen a very apt book up there. Oh, really? <laughs> Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> You don't get any issues with vandals or anything? Or? I think every so often Dave has to chase some, a few off. people away. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's just got so much character. He <laughs> has. And things you think. Why has he collected that? Why has he got that? What's, what's, what was he going to use that for? Got, yeah. some, some extensive collections yeah. over <laughs> several years. Yeah. Thank and you. Of course, he lost most of his, his possessions. Yeah. Which is a real shame. It is because it wasn't just a short time he was on this, was it? It's 76, I think, I read. Yeah, he, yeah, when he bought it, yeah. yeah. Well, it's like a you were saying about the carpentry and skills at the front and the bow yeah, yes. and you can see them here yes. just the workmanship to put mm. this together so i know you can't give a ballpark figure of how long but how long each would it take to get it back into any kind of order do you think once you've got the funding and have you got a, a plan of 
I, I, How yeah, many years? I, I, I will speak to Martin about that, to be honest. Right, it's, uh, yeah. It's, um, and they are really working out what the strategy is. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it's been going on for like three years with the fundraising, behind the scenes thing. Yeah. Pretty much in place now. Right. So it's just a question of, I'd say, funding. Yeah. And maybe getting some volunteer mm. teams once we know what's yeah. happening to it. Mm. There's various options. It could be marked and dismantled and and just moved away yeah. in pieces. Mm. It could be restored here on the beach. Yeah. In my view that we just shore it up and get it floating and it can be can be floated off onto a barge or something. Yeah. You know, all, all costly sort of mm. ventures, you're mm. talking sort of hundred grand plus for mm. things like that. So I would yeah. presume it costs so millions yeah. to really get it. Think, oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's the thinking. Yeah. That's but the money is. Would it be worth it? One of a kind. Mm. It's got to be it's part it? of history, isn't it? It's... So, what what are the numbers like? That's the uh, ship's number, boat's number. Yeah. Right. Because yes, yeah, so it, that's its registration number. Uh huh. It's just fascinating that. So much of it has survived anyway, mm. after the way it's been battered yeah. in. What we were saying on the way, as we were walking over, how nature just takes over things. <laughs> You've yes. got the, this hanging. <laughs> it certainly does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have found a few creatures and creatures <laughs> inside. <laughs> Maybe some marine life takes up there. Oh, it's no garden now. Yeah. <laughs> isn't it? Nice feature. Even the electric iron. Yes. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was all set up when he, when he was living on yeah. the little television, didn't he? Yeah, yeah this is yeah. a sewing yeah. machine. Quarters, yeah. A couple of the old yeah. bunks which have gone. A sewing machine. machine. <laughs> some of the heaviest furniture known to man. Right? <laughs> 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 you didn't need ballots here this morning. So what's, uh, is he just going to carry on living there then? Uh, so Dave lives on the sea offs at the moment. Yeah. Um, he has bought the, the, you'll have noticed the tug. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's the, uh, the Seaport Alpha. Um, I think he's got aspirations to, to move on to that. Right. Yeah, I think the original plan was yeah. to maybe land it next to this. Yeah. But the tides didn't allow at the time. Right. So uh, if he can get it a bit further up, then he's mm. going to get a yeah. move on that one. So you see all the, the actual the structure is all is all iron. Yeah. So it's got a sort of the, is it a beam here and across. Yeah. That's the, the sort of the skeleton, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The strength, the strength, the strength of it. The, and then the frames. Dropping down each side. So, when the tide's in, how far up does the water come in here ish? Uh, about a 10 metre tide will be. Will be, will be oh, yeah, like your knee over. Wow. Yeah, about a yeah. foot off the top yeah. of the deck, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, we've had a, had a few 10 metre tides this year. Yeah. In the last month or two. Um, I'm not quite sure what, the, what what it was when when when, when they had the incident, <laughs> yeah, but I think that was assisted by uh, high winds and long down. Yeah, it was a gale so force wind, wasn't it? Yeah, and, uh, and it was it was hitting the tops of the decks. So he, he was lucky, it, wasn't he? Really? Very. Yeah. yeah. Um, but obviously, as you fill with water, you don't yeah. walk up. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so yeah, um, for quite a frightening situation to be in, really. Mm. Um, how do you get out? I mean. There isn't a no, we've got an escape hatch at the bottom there. Right. But this is probably the worst damage to stuff below the, uh, yeah. the water line. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that could be replaced in situ, but it involves sort of a fair bit of graft and digging a Digging out of you know. it, yeah. I mean, it, it could be done, you know. Mm. It's, like you say, there's, there's options, yeah. different routes to, to do it. 
Yeah. So, I mean, I was reading that the ideal is that it will be a floating classroom. That was, that, that was the plan, yeah. yeah. The, the, you know, if, if, if that can be achieved. You know, yeah. It's, uh, it's supposed to get yeah. for the sale, sale yeah. mast, is it? The sale training. Yes, yeah. yeah. mast. Yeah, yeah. mast. Obviously, to get a seaworthy, is a considerable effort. Yes, first step. They do have the assistance the assistance of the historic water roller. Yeah, yeah. Right. And they've got a chap from Scotland down as well. Yeah. So they are seeking expertise. That's good. You know, it's not being done half hearted then, don't you? It's a serious. Restoration is is a uh, isn't something that me and Tom are going to do <laughs> on Sunday mornings. <laughs> What's that? Once a week for a few months. Restoration is something that me and you. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You got the carpeting. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you do hot pots? <laughs> one of Betty's, one of Betty's hot pots, please. <laughs> so did he, I've got a lot of questions. Did he do all the wiring in here? Did he, he sort electrics out? Or? I'm not sure how much it was pre-existing from the previous lives. Right. Yeah. Or, um, but, but it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> it really wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I think I think we're already in with yeah. the. Uh, the previous yeah. owner for the for the bar restaurant, mm. and you'll notice that this, this certainly this area is quite a lot of quite extensive damage to the frames. I think there's been some sort of incident in the past. Mm. Yeah, um, that, that's caused some damage that's then resulted in continued yeah uh, corrosion. But a lot of the other frames are actually. Yes, yeah. in good condition, yeah. <laughs> um. Wow. Like, like Tom said, there's a. Now it's owned by the. by the, the, uh, the CIC, by the company. You can start to make proper efforts yeah. to survey it and mm. uh, understand how what the way forward is and, and start to mm. hopefully generate bids for raising money. Yeah. So the CIC stands for. Community interest company. Is that a, like a private company? Not for, it's not for profit in no, effect. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all so purpose of, 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 of doing this. Of doing this. Yeah. 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 Well, we'd certainly like to keep in touch and mm. follow it through and as much as we can. Because well, as we said earlier, it's just a fascinating piece of history that mm. can't be lost, can it? Mm. Um, yeah, there was, there was another chap that uh, came down filming and did uh, he's done a little YouTube piece. Yeah, we, we, saw, we saw that. We saw that. That's, that's, we saw that, and that's why we thought we'd get in touch as well. Because so the more we can promote yeah, between probably, everyone yeah. and what's going on, I think that probably provides a bit more of the history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're both from the northwest. I'm from Warrington on the Mersey, oh, right. so yeah. the, the kind of you know, connection yeah. there. Both are. Her, her fathers were in the navy Very as well, right. so, navy wall, so, so right. just yeah. the general interest in boats as much yeah. as anything. But uh, mm. yeah. Well, hopefully, in the coming years, you'll uh, see what happens at the other end. Then, well, hopefully, yes. yeah, that's yeah. what we'd like to do. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I believe they did sail up as far as almost the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah. In the working life. Uh, probably wouldn't, so wouldn't really yeah. I mean, I was, I was reading the uh, comparisons. It's like the well, not olden days, but the equivalent of HGV with the cargoes they used to carry. And that, that's an interesting because the um, the company Abel's uh, and another story of Dave's is that the um, one of the reasons why they stopped using them was with the onset of container containers. Right. In right. The, uh, sort of the sixties. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where the, you know that that really took over from. From yeah. what, what the, these what these were, did. yeah. So there's no more, no more business, no more trade for, for badges. No, quite so much because the 
container vehicles. It's surprisingly, I think it's even with all the holes in it, it's surprisingly draft proof, isn't it? You don't mm -hmm. feel a lot. <laughs> I suppose you're doing it really well. I'm not quite sure what it's like. When, when, no, when it does blow. Really <laughs> it was cosy for him, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. 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 It was cosy for him, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah
Well, when we were having a wander yesterday, we were saying it's, it's quite a boat graveyard, isn't it? It is. <laughs> yeah. It's a... Some people don't like it. Some people don't like it. It's character, character, isn't it? Yeah. It's character, wildlife, yeah. Yeah. points and things. Another spot over there. Seven Irish. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right, this will be fun. <laughs> Please don't fall. <laughs> we have signed the disclaimers, you're all right. <laughs> oh, you want me to have that one? And don't fall on me. <laughs> Oakdale. And the plans are to either put her on a barge and take her out the way she came in, but as we, the, uh, we've just been pointed out, the, the land, the beach has actually got ra risen with the, uh, the, uh, the nature has taken over the, the sand dunes. So that would have to have probably have a, a trench dug uh, to repair it in site in situ. So again, I'd probably have to excavate a, a trench around her to get underneath and to repair the, the work there. Or third option might be to dismantle it completely and take her by road, which. I think would be a shame. It'd be nice to uh, either do it in situ or to take her on a barge, but to, to dismantle her and then transport her by road would be, would be a shame, I think. So that's the Oakdale.
So we're finishing this video off in Runcorn. And why are we doing that? Well, this is where the Oakdale was built. Um, there is a plaque, I think, to the boatyard where she was built. So we're going to try and find that, a blue plaque. Um, and one of the possible endings to the story is that she's brought back to this area to be restored or to be exhibited when she's restored. I'm not sure really what they wanted to do because there's so many different, slightly different plans, isn't there, at the moment? There are, yeah. Now the, <laughs> the company's taking it over, the charity, I think. They've got to have it surveyed and work out which is the best way forward. And that's happening shortly, I think you were saying. We're hoping to, yeah. Hoping it's, to. it's going to be um, surveyed, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, this is, we spin you around. For those of you who know, this is the Runcorn, the old Runcorn Bridge. I know it well from being in Warrington and coming down the Mersey or coming down from Widnes over to Runcorn over the the Runcorn Bridge. I always used to think that as a child we had you had to go up and over when it was being built. You had to go up and over rather than Did you know? across it. No. Oh. So this is the Mersey Mersey estuary. And there's the plaque. Shipbuilding here since 1810, with facilities owned by John Anderton and Co. Anderton and Le Courtier, Le Courtier Speakman and Sons, and Richard Abel and Sons, amongst others. The last boat built in the yard was a Mersey flat, Ruth Bate, launched, launched in 1953. 1953. But this is where the Oakdale was built. And there's only two um, boats built by. Um, Abel and Sons still in existence. The Oakdale is one, built in 1951, and Mossdale, um, built in, well, that was built in Northwich, to be fair, but uh, about 1860. And there is a, a bit of bone of contention about the Mossdale, whether that's a Mersey flat or not. We were told while we were up at Oakdale that it was a, a Bridgewater flat. Yes. Slightly, slightly different, different uh, dimensions. Still, still the same um, composite design, composite build. But uh, for this uh, Castle Rock shipyard was named after the castle that was nearby. And that was established by King Alfred's daughter. King Alfred the Great's daughter in 915. So, All right. Ethel, Ethel. Yeah, I wasn't going to pronounce the. Yeah. Ethel Flayed Ethel, in 915 AD. Ethel Flayed? Flayed. Ethel Fleeder. But, uh, I wasn't going to try to pronounce <laughs> that. Well, we just thought that would be a nice ending to the, where, our visit and story of the Oakdale. Of where she, where yeah. she started and where hopefully. Locally, she's going to end up again eventually when they decide exactly how they're going to get her here. And get her restored. We're going to leave some links below in the description. All about some people who are trying to raise funds to restore Oakdale. Oakdale. And so if you want to follow their story, or even help with their story. They're always looking for volunteers as well to try and get Oakdale up and running again. So the links will be below. And we hope you've enjoyed something different again from us. We'll try to mix things up a bit and raise a bit of awareness really about different historical things that are going on. With that said, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, please do comment, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye for now. Bye.